What's up everybody, Remington from Impulse Creative and today we're gonna talk about a question that's been going around in one of the Facebook groups about how to make a drift link not reload a page. Um, in some cases, you're gonna get real excited about dropping that drift link in to get a conversation started and the last thing you wanna do from a user experience perspective is refresh the page and the person lose where they are on said page. So there's a couple things you can do, but one of the biggest reasons that this refresh happens is because you haven't set up the link the right way. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that and make sure that you're not refreshing that page on click. So what you need to do, of course, is know what your drift link is. So in this example, we have conversation. You're gonna go ahead and want to copy that. And then when you find your page that you want to place that into, then this is essentially how you do it. Now we're using HubSpot in this example. This will work for any, um, any page builder that you're using, whether it's WordPress, Squarespace, or anything like that. The important thing is this detail that I'm about to show you. So when you go to insert a link, a lot of times what happens is the CMS is going to add the trailing slash to it so that you can start finding another page. And so a lot of cases what happens is you'll see that that drift link is usually started with a slash. That slash tells the browser that you're going to another page. And so if you eliminate that slash and you just make it so it's the pound sign and your drift link, then what's gonna happen is that's going to trigger without the refresh because it's essentially just hitting an anchor. Now, that being said, one of the things you can do once you have the once you have that drift link installed is if you wanted to link to this section of a page, you know, down the road and not have someone start at the beginning, you could drop in an anchor at that same section. So the pound sign conversation is going to is going to work on any page especially if those there's no anchor tag but if you want to scroll down to that portion of the page when it's clicked then you can do that by inserting an anchor and essentially we would just name this conversation right so when we name it conversation in hubspot you'll see it here but it works the same again in wordpress or squarespace what's going to happen if someone goes to the conversation uh, pound sign in the URL, it will move them down to that section. So a little bonus, um, if you have any other questions about drift or conversational marketing, please let me know. I will be happy to answer it on video so that it can help you out and other people in the drift and conversational marketing community. So if you'd like to subscribe to other tutorials that we've got, you can do so right here. And of course, if you'd like to see other tutorials that we've done already, you can go ahead and do that right here. Until next time, Remington from Impulse Creative.